Lucky Chloe. My Lucky Chloe. My Lucky Chloe just has glasses. She's a very cool Lucky Chloe. So, oh, I didn't change the patch notes. I thought I did it. There it is. Oh my god, she got three peaches? <sighs> Baby. Alrighty. Sick nasty. Let's do it. Got a lot to work. You got a uh, got a lot to do here. Time to work on some stuff. All right. During rage, down forward. Um, three plus four. Uh, during hits. Rage back towards enemy. Hmm. Oh, okay. She has a screw out of it now. No, wait. Can do... Oh, can do... During rage, now uh, can do down during hits, during rage, back towards enemy. Uh, what's her, what's her command? Okay. Okay, so they, they gave it, so it's a, it has the ability to be done back turn. That's what it is. And this is done because she got a manual back turn. I wonder if this has jump frames. That would be tricky in the way that this character would be. So, like, if you saw someone, like, do a low, you just... Make her make her read and all right, that'd be really fucked up. So, uh, necessary change if you were to get to give her something like a command backdash or a command uh, back turn. That's a very necessary change. One, two, one, closer on block, decrease pushback so it hits easier. Uh, this is probably because a lot of the times, uh, this wouldn't work. It, it would sort of push farther. It push too far away. So this is um. This is so that her combos work a little bit better. Right. Let's remember how to do these combos. Down forward one, back forward, down and forward. Down forward one, back forward, down forward one. I think they changed back four. Huh. Let's keep it simple. Yeah, they definitely made this a lot easier to hit. That's nice. This is so that uh, when you get the launch. You're able to get to the wall better. This is uh, this is overall. Uh, I mean, this is a great change. This is one of those things that you, you always wanted. You always wanted to make her life a lot easier. And now you're able to do it. Super nice. Uh, one, two, two. Now it comes out one frame slower. Pl change to plus two to plus four on hit. Um, opponent farther away on hit. After move, the character was standing. Now she's crouching. Uh, I could see this being useful on the wall. Yeah, and, and stuff like that. Maybe? I think. Yeah, I can see that being useful on the wall. Uh, I think that's a nerf, though. Unless you get a hit, right? So you have uh, one, two, one, and then one, two, two. So if you get it to hit, then you're able to you're able to work with this. I think. Stuff like that. 2-2. Two, two. Opponent reaction on counter hit was changed. Okay, not on regular hit. Um, but... Alright. Nice. So you get hit by the delay for whatever reason. 
right? You're you're waiting for this instead you get hit by something else. That's fair. Otherwise, this, I mean, this move is normally used as a punish, so this isn't that big of a deal to be honest. I I wouldn't be I wouldn't be too happy or too mad about it. Uh, oh, I forgot to roll up. Put on a counter hit was changed. Um, two timed with three. Double t uh, twist now chain hits. Sure, why not? You almost you almost don't want it to because you're trying to trick people. So that uh this extra damage. Or let's input for it. Is it down back three? Yeah, it's down back three. This extra 17 damage would have been unscaled instead. I kind of don't like this, but it is what it is. Three change from damage to 14. I believe this is so um, this got nerfed because they buffed it. Uh, they give it a chance stance transition. That's tricky. So swinging into this is now a scary thing because you're able to do stuff like Yeah, you're getting tricky with this now. That's cool. I like this. I like this quite a bit, actually. This makes me this makes me want to have fun with this character. All right, there's like a lot of stuff here. You can like really mess with your opponent. Three, four. Uh, damage changed from 16 to 20. Uh, input window changed from 15 to 27. Wow, you can delay this hellas now. Look at this. You can delay this tremendously. So that's scary. Yeah, you have to worry about this now. And it does more damage, so they scaled the damage back to the, um... The reason why they did this is so that when they got something like this, or I should be able to do a better combo on the wall. So the reason why they wanted to do this is because I believe they nerfed back one. We'll see that later. This might do less damage, but the reason why they did this is so that this would be more worth it. All right. And that does more damage when it's uh, hit on the ground properly. There you go. That does more damage now. That's nice. Okay, let's switch back to Chloe. I believe one plus two is her power crush, right? No, it's her homing. It's right. It's her forward moving homing move that she has out of two, one plus two, right? Can do a homing move while back turned. Hell yeah. What a change. Does less damage though. I wonder if they did that across the board. 26 damage. 26 damage. Yeah, they did that across the board. Universal change uh, across the board. That's sick, though. Uh, I'm actually quite a, bit of fa a big fan of these changes so far on Chloe. 2-2. Two, two. Now uh, comes out one frame slower. After the move, the uh, character standing now is crouching. This is a consistency change with this. So a lot of her changes are being done so that they are more consistent. I like this. I went too far. Four two one plus two change from yeah, this is the damage change. Eleven and nine, uh four three on block. Does this give you any was this the one that gave you something a counter hit? No. Was this the move that was completely useless? This was the move that was completely useless. This move right here legitimately has no use to exist. It doesn't do a ton of damage. It does 15. You know what also does a similar amount of damage? Down forward one, and it's safe on block. You know, uh, this was negative 11 on hit and uh, only plus 5 or plus 6. If you're looking at uh, down forward one, it's plus 7, plus 8. Also safer on block. You trade two damage for having this and this, and it was gonna be this was gonna be unsafe. There was almost no use, no reason to use this move. 
There's still almost no reason to use this move. But it is safe. You people, you saw people get it on accident when they wanted to do instant running threes. You went, you got this on accident. So, uh, that's nice, I guess. Is at least it's safe. So the 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 real buff to this, honestly, in all in all honesty, is the fact that if you fuck up running three, you get a four four three, or you get a four three instead. That's safe on block. That's the real buff. Ford Forge jump state changed. Uh, from 9 to 4, they nerfed it. Jump status, uh, start was slow when inputting, now fixed. So, bug change on this. Uh, sure. I don't know if they needed to change this. This doesn't seem like one of those things that was used quite a bit. On top of which, um, it put her back turn to negative, if I recall correctly. 4-4-4. Four, four, four. Yeah, negative and back turn. And if you if you back turned out of it, then you put yourself in a worse uh, situation. So this wasn't that great of a, a a move to nerf, but it was good. You're able to see something from here. You're like, nice. But it, it starts up a lot, and it's uh, jump frames for most of it. So I guess if you make a hard read, you're you're rewarded for it, right? Nice. <sighs> down forward one or down forward two. Roll rising two. Uh, they changed the damage on her. Uh, down forward two. Uh, her big down forward two string. Can I still do this? Yes. It's not that hard. So uh, if you didn't know how to do this before, this was a pretty easy timing. You just have to learn it. It's one of those things where every button gets slower. So you do the first two pretty fast, and then the third one slower, and the fourth one even slower than that. And it's uh, not not too hard of a timing. Anyway, they rescaled the damage. Does it do more damage? I can't imagine they wanted to this to do more damage. It's 46 now. What does the scaling look like? 100, 170, 60, 50? Hundred seventy, fifty, forty. So this used to be what was it? What did we say? It was 46 damage. Now it is 40, 70 would be... Um, 70 would be 14 damage. So it would be 28. And then 10 damage for 50%. 38. Oh no, this is the damage now. Uh, 28 and then the damage afterwards would be 50%. So it would be 28, 33. And then this would be 40%. And 40% uh, would be 4 to carry 10, 10 point six, 11, 11 scaling. So it would be 32, 44. This got buffed by two points. Cool. This got buffed by two points. So the rescaling of the damage uh, now do, uh, scales by two points. Uh, it might be worse in combos later on, actually. I'd have to do more math on that, but I don't want to sit and do that. But uh, raw on its own, this got buffed. I think overall it got buffed. There you go. Overall got buffed, I think. I'd have to. I'll, I'll redo the math, and then uh, if I think otherwise, I'll post something on Twitter. Change to 14 frames. This is a 14 frame punish now. Does she have a better 12 frame punish? How much damage does this do? 30 damage, right? 
This does 29. I guess it does slightly more. That's fair. And um, oh, I forgot to show this. All right, there it is. Right there. Uh, two two is plus four on block, but it's also negative. Uh, where's down four three? Down four three. Down four three three. Uh, negative on hit, but plus eight in K. What is K again? I forget what K was. Either way. So, cool. Very cool. I like it. Down four three two. Uh, it's now safe on block. Now comes out one frame slower. So more of a mix up with this and then you have to worry about that afterwards. So this used to be the mid 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 mid. Uh, I thought she had something else out of this. No, just those two things. Cool. So uh, now she can counter hit fish with this a little bit better because it's safe on block. This is one of her best starters. My bad. Uh, what else? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I was thinking about uh, doing this. Yeah. Pretty good. This is her. There's a better combo than that. Down four three three now comes out two frames faster. Negative fourteen on block plus uh, seven on hit now. Uh, what else? Hits now chain. Uh, input window changed from thirty to thirty one. So to offset this, they did this. Uh, I don't know if this makes this that much use more useful, but it does. It's used on the wall now, I guess. Now that I think about it, because it does uh, chain. So that is something. Okay. Down forward four changed to twenty five. Uh, put it on a counter hit reaction was changed. Did it not knock down before? I could have sworn it knocked down. No, it didn't. Wow, that's trash. All right, good. This is a good change. Uh, damage nerfed in order for the buffs. wonder if you're able to get anything off this. Huh. Uh, looks like back one's probably the best out of this. Yeah. Oh, that's a different animation. Okay. They definitely nerfed back one. Down two plus zero to plus two on hit. Really, this was a problem move. Uh, plus two on block, plus two on hit, and uh, reaction. air reaction was changed. It doesn't do the head bounce anymore. Just spikes on the floor in a really shitty way. Reach increase, though. Uh, I don't know. I don't like this change. This was one of her only moves where she was able to, like, and then put some mix-ups on. But she got better in other ways, I guess. New move added. Um, they gave her that on its own. And it's a power crush. Uh, I would assume similar frames. It is a knockdown, so you're able to stand here, right? And you're like looking for ways to get the wall splat, and you're like, sick. Right? So that's useful in that way. It moves hella forward. Look at that. 
That's pretty good. Down back three four. Um, now first it chains when counter hits. Wow, that didn't do that before. That's absurd. Zero on hit. That's absurd. Just overall changes that she needed. Back turn one, reach increased. Back turn three. Um, 34, input window uh, slowed by nine frames. Back turn four, homing increased. Back turn down four. Uh, oh, these are all these changes right here. Uh, homing increase as well. Back turn, f uh, down, f back four. After uh, character was standing, now is crouching. Hmm. What other, is this not back turn? I thought this was back turn. Uh, I could be wrong. Let's see what move at 41 frame startup. Oh, twist three. Oh, gotcha. Okay, these are twist uh, moves at a twist. So, okay, these are moves at a twist. My bad. All right. Let's see this. So, we got twist one, reach increased. Twist three, safe or um, faster. Start up on twist four faster. That is faster as well. There you go. Nice. Uh, that's plus four on hit as well. So that's faster. And then... One, two, three, four. Now counter hit, double twist, now chains. I forgot the timing for this. Uh, let me see if I can find this. what it is so that go that all got buffed cool I want to hear this in numbers I didn't even know she could count to six that's crazy I thought it was all one ones and twos and then you spell the names out of your of your of your name and you're all donezo from there that's pretty sick <clears throat> all right down back four negative 14 on block so not launch punishable by most of the cast now negative three on hit added crouch status after so now ducks uh lows after move is crouching that's fair this is all fair and just makes this move useful right so you're now able to just go sick now you're sitting here. So the good thing about this is that it sits in uh, a lot of the moves now that are sitting and crouching. Hold on. Uh, change it. Sorry. I need to be more consistent on this. <clears throat> so moves that got changed into crouching, right? Let's look at her full crouch moves. Where are they? So here are her three full crouch moves. She has full crouch down forward one, full crouch down forward two, and full crouch down forward four, right? These are her full crouch moves. Uh, this also considers that if you're in full crouch, you also have wall standing one four, which is a launcher. You have also wall standing two. Uh, you have wall standing three and wall standing four, right? So all these things are, you know, 
Uh, most of these are mids. She does have this as a low. This is also not a bad low on a counter hit. Right? So consider all of this, right? Now consider the fact that she got she's now put in crouch status during the situation. She's negative three, but she's also can't be um you also have to commit to a mid right now. So a lot of people's mids are 13 frames. So by negative 10, you're able to duck jab in those situ certain situations. So negative three isn't the worst. And if you're swinging into it, you might be able to get this as a counter hit as well if you're trying to go for bigger mids. So this is a this is quite a bit of a change. You, you have to be wary as the Chloe player, but you do have some stuff out of this now. Add a crouch status is uh, very good. Down forward four four, down back four four. I mean, so the low mid. This used to be the the ailment of the sentry. Right? This used to be... This is the tech. Now it's a little bit faster. You have to be a little bit more on point when you're doing this. So, that's cool, I guess. <laughs> it's not really a change she needed. But it isn't a change she... I don't know. Atlas Hammer. Uh, it's, a, it's a proper Atlas Hammer. Holy shit. That's crazy. She got an Atlas Hammer. Man, I don't even know how to combo this. What is the, the silliest move I can combo into this? I have no clue. Although, I want to see this. Yo, Atlas Hammer the shit out of someone? That'd be dope. That's crazy. That's going to be really good. Um, it's a good launcher. So, uh, I, I may expect to see this more often. I don't know what it's going to look like on mid-air hit. I'm going to try to get a high spot here. Yeah, it doesn't ground hit. So it's not what I thought it was. But at the same time, um, it's an Atlas Hammer now. <laughs> Recovery decreased by four frames. Uh, on hit by four frames. So you can combo off it easier. Cool. They gave her an Atlas Hammer. <laughs> uh, what else? Uh, back one. This got a huge nerf, but now it's negative 11. Counter hit and mid-air hit was changed. What is this counter hit? Man, that sucks. This used to be a baller move. Now it's it's uh, much less worth on the wall. This used to be scary. All right, you're able to do. And this used to do a shit ton of damage. I can see. So I was watching a lot of people over at uh, at Wednesday night fights when uh, we were having we're having the uh, having the Tekken tournament on the mainstream, and I was watching uh, Chloe players do this, where they're going down one four one three four. I was like, huh, that's quite curious. I wonder why they are doing that. And it's largely because the face down is not worth the uh, negative four or negative four on damage. Because she gets a good Oki off this. And the trade-off before was that this was good Oki, right? But, um, and gave you good damage. But this gave you a way to, like, put this in your mix-up. And now that's not the case anymore. You should, go, you should go for this every time. I don't like that change. When you take away move, I would rather you nerf it in a way where this does the same damage, but you get to make a decision. I would rather keep it exactly the same. It was one of her best tools because it did so much damage. And like, as a counter hit launcher, it did 120%. So it would do 5.4 added. That would be through 33 starter uh, before screw. So it shit damage. Or before anything else, I mean. 
So that's uh, I don't like this change, but I also really liked back one. I thought this was one of the coolest moves. Back two, uh, change to plus two to plus four on hit. Reaction on hit was changed. Uh, hit is farther away after move. Character's crouching. Same thing we were talking about, right? Like if you get this to hit, now you're plus four and crouching. Now this is this is this is much scarier than we were talking about a second ago. Four crouching. You know you have stuff now. Uh, I like this. It's a little bit more reward for a little less damage because plus four. Remember we were talking about um, sort of like thresholds where your safe it or where your fastest mid is. Considering that this is plus four, this is now your fastest mid afterwards. So you can't. There's um, a lot of characters that can't do anything about this. But now there's stuff like this that you have to worry about while standing four or while standing one uh, while standing one four. Lars, Cat, Eliza, who has broken shit now? Um, who was that? I was told one other person had something broken. I forgot what it was. Uh, we'll see if Cats is broken, right? Like, Cats is really good, but I don't know if it's broken. It's broken in the sense that it's too good. I don't know if it's broken in the sense that it's a bug. Because uh, everything that the change list said is now is now in there. It's negative nine. Uh, it used to be natural combo. It's high high. It's always jailed. So it's the one of those things you're like, we'll see, right? We'll see if that actually gets changed. It's stupid good though. It's actually, in my opinion, uh, mad broken. Uh, Lars is definitely broken. Lars is definitely broken. A uh, the reason why I say cats might not be changed is because it, all of the change list is in, like, it, it is as intended. This wasn't as intended. Lars's was not changed in the move list, so it, or uh, it wasn't intended in, in the change list. Katarina's everything they did in the change list was actually in the change list. I still think it's stupid and needs to be changed. Eliza the unblockable like I honestly would keep that it's not that big of a deal it's a good round closer but it's like not that big of a deal she spends all of her bar her bar is more more better use for ex dive kicks but I like stupid shit I played fucking guilty gear so back three closer on hit you're able to get mix-ups off this now this is nice before when they were if you were to hit this like as far as away as possible you were unable to get the down forward one afterwards. Now you are. That's very nice. This is a very, very nice change. Back one plus two. Hit the active by one frame. Increase hitbox downward. Increase first hit homing. Oh, yeah. They buffed her power crush. It's like really hard to duck now. Even though it's a high. So you have to, or uh, really hard to avoid. It's technically highs, but you'll be able, you'll be hit out of it. There is something else broken. I forgot what it was. Uh, someone told me about it. Uh, shit, I forgot what it was. I, w I was we were talking about it last night at uh, at Super Arcade. I don't remember what it was though. There's a bunch of things that's pretty broken. We'll see. We'll see. I think uh, I think we're not getting a patch for like two three weeks though. I think SCR we're playing on this patch, which is <laughs> got to be fun, right? Top eight, all Lars. The to be fair though, there's not going to be that many people who are good at Lars because everybody's going to be like, uh, everybody's going to be not like not being played that character for so long. I like if there's anybody who's going to be like anywhere decent on Lars, it might be like MYK from SoCal. Uh, other than that, I don't expect a lot of people to pick up Lars immediately. Uh, I appreciate the follow, Ibrahim. Thank you. A 4-3. I suspected that they changed this, that they nerfed this move. Uh, they did. I don't like this. I wanted this to be the dumb broken move it was. Because it's supposed to be mad good. But now it's just sort of middling. It's just sort of middle. Like it doesn't have an identity as a move, right? Like, why am I? Why wouldn't I do this now? Why wouldn't I do a regular hop kick? 
Why was this better? This was better because it had low crush pro or high crush and low crush properties, but it, it was negative uh, 15. Now it's like it doesn't do as much damage, but it did more damage. That was the main thing. And now I just kind of want to do this. It gives this more change, more use, but it gives the other one. I should have uh, expanded this downwards. There you go. What changed? Um, do you mean for Lars? Josie still crushes. Yeah, Josie still crushes, right? So it's still really good. I don't know. They didn't change her hop kick, and her hop kick's potentially a negative 11 instead of negative 13. And hers is negative 15. So I don't like this change at all. Made it safer for five damage. Five damage is a lot when you consider. This used to do 60 plus. No, it doesn't. I don't like it. I don't like it, but it is what it is. I want, I want this to be the damage monster. If I wanted to be safer, I would have used this move. Now it's just they're more in line. But I guess they wanted people to start making decisions, right? I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, same thing changed. Five damage change. This move's really good. A back four. <laughs> a back three is still crazy good. Yeah, I just noticed it didn't knock down. That's crazy. Look at this. It doesn't knock down anymore. You weren't able to combo off this. Why did they think this was so good? whatever add a new move oh hey she's got like an orbital looking thing i wonder if it is an orbital and you're able to get a free back one afterwards that's cool i wonder if it's an orbital if this is an orbital this is like a crazy good move this now chains during counter hit okay This is faster. Now scoot change from that does uh, three plus four does more damage. Cool. That's that's nice, I guess. Uh, this was a similar change to all of our other uh, changes with that move that looks exactly the same. Full crouch down four two change to a homing attack. This is nice. This gets people all, this is a, a very useful move. Let me see. Uh, what is it on block? Safe on block. Mega good move. I like this move a ton. I'm using this all the time if I'm quality players. I don't have to rely on this move. I don't have to rely on this move. I rely on this move now. And I learn how to hit it fast. There's a way to do it instant, but it's a pain in the ass. Rather just do it regularly. You learn how to you just speed this up a little bit more and a little bit more. See now I'm doing it too fast. That's how you sort of practice that. Good. This is a move I'm using all the time. All the time. This is so good now. Chloe's good. So far, I'm liking all these changes. I'm liking all these changes a lot. Now, oh, this is the last page. Jesus, these are... I forgot. This is so many changes. Back towards enemy. Down four. Same change. Back towards enemy. Down one plus two. 20 damage. 18, uh, 18 on block. Negative uh, six frame to increase. Hitbox expanded. Opponent reaction on cannon, uh, hit a normal hit. Counter was changed. After move, now standing, now is crouching. So that that was a change on a lot of her lows. Let's see, what was this? Back turn down. Back turn down three plus four. It used to be a low crouch state early, negative 12. Used to knock down on counter hit. Now it knocks down on regular hit as well. I don't know if I like that too much for a change because you don't really get anything off this, right? 
Uh, oh, wait. Maybe you get full crouch down forward one. Yeah, you do. Cool. So, you, so you do get you get a little hit afterwards. Does more damage. You're now guaranteed the 12 frames or uh, 12 damage afterwards. So, 32 damage um, low for negative 18. That's fair, actually. That is fair. Uh, yeah, that's pretty fair, honestly. How fast is well, full crouch down forward one? Full crouch down forward two. 18 and 21. Huh. So, what about her up forward moves? Four, three plus four, four. Jump state in 18. This starts up in 27, 27. The reason why I'm thinking is because you might be able to do something like this. Ah, too far. She doesn't have a, she doesn't have any up forward moves, but uh, she probably doesn't have anything else that hits on the floor. Yeah. Yeah, so that's her best move. Uh, out of that man Josie got a lot better I would say um, this is a huge change this is one of the best changes you could have possibly given her and one of the things that everybody was asking for as a Chloe player right this is just really tricky and they might have jump frames on it too so you avoid a low and then you hit them with that that's crazy Stuff like that, like all that. That's is, this is all really scary stuff. Um, this if this is an orbital that gives you that afterwards this is a thirty-one damage orbital that uh, gets the flip over. This is crazy good. If it's safe on block, this is amazing. If it's not, then I don't expect to see this all that often because you're putting yourself at risk at that point at, for using an orbital and. At that point, why not try to use a normal hop kick? So this has to be safe, otherwise it's useless. Uh, let's go back to the top. Rage from back turn. This was supposed to be um, this is uh, a change that needed to happen. One two one. This was nice uh, because this gives you the same changes we were talking about earlier. 2-2, two, two, reaction counter has changed. This was unnecessary. Yeah, the back one, uh, they, they took away a lot of her, her damage on the wall, like with the back one, but they gave it to 3-4. Overall, she got much better. She's not she's not like the crazy character people are saying she is, I think, because stuff like this has got uh, nerfed. This is still crazy good. And the thing is that even running three didn't get changed is all, right? This is still one of the like best running moves in the game because of the way that she moves. She moves like Butterfly Edge. So she'll just randomly crush things. All right. So all, all things considered, she got much better. Much better. Like she went up uh, drastically. If I had to say like uh, if she was like low tier, then she would have gone up at least two tiers. These are, these are two to three tiers worth of changes.